Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Welcome to Photo Just a Photo Moment. Before I get started, let me just say that having your car break down eh, first thing in the morning eh, is not a good way to start the day. <laughs> had my car in the shop yesterday, determined it needed a, I've had this uh, radiator leak that's been, uh, not radiator, uh, coolant leak that's been like my plague of my existence, of my car's existence. And they had, were looking at it yesterday, had to order some parts, got the car back on the road today. Probably not a good idea because it went Pop, and a piece broke off and now I gotta get the thing towed. So running around all morning, getting rental cars sorted out, all that good stuff. But fortunately, I was already ready for today's show, which means I get to show you what I wanted to show you, which is how you hook up this to this. So let's go, let's go back in time just a little bit, shall we? We'll go back in time just a little bit. You may recall that back in the days of the iPhone 6, where it had this simple, lovely, lovely little port, just that, oh, that blessed little hole right there, the thing that allowed us to connect a, a headphone or, dare I say, a microphone to your camera, to your phone, was a beautiful thing. All you needed back then was a microphone like this. So this is the Rode SmartLav Plus. What makes this thing the SmartLav is that it has, if you look very closely here at the, uh, the port here, this is a, a TRRS plug. That's tip, ring, ring, sleeve. TRRS. And that is necessary because your standard iPhone, well, that's the wrong one. Well, anyway, your standard iPhone headphone jack has TRRS. And that's because you've got a, a ground, a microphone, and a left channel, and a right channel. Like I said, that'd be left, that'd be right. And, um, <laughs> and for those watching live, Graham Parker, yes, you are in the right place today. Thank you for watching. And so, um, all you needed was a microphone like this Rode Smart Lab Plus that had the right connection and you plug that in and boom, that's it. You are live. Now, if you wanted to take another microphone, just a standard microphone that had a regular microphone port on it, then all you needed was this fabulous little Rode adapter. So this guy here is uh, the SC4, I think it is. And this guy goes from, see it's black on this end, that means it's standard TRS, just a plain old plug. And then on the gray end here, the TRS. And in fact, they have another one that goes the other way. If you wanted to take your Rode Smart Labs, you look gray to gray, connect these two, sorry, I gotta get to the right place, connect these two together. And then this one goes into your camera, uh, like a regular camera, not your iPhone. And off you go. So all, you know, a couple of little adapters, but basically all you needed was this, this, there you go. Okay, I promise I'll move the camera later. All right, so that's all you needed. Okay, so then you go, right, well, I want to go wireless, right? So you go, okay, I've got this Sennheiser wireless pack or Sony makes wireless packs or you can get really expensive ones. You get really, don't get really cheap ones. They never work. And all you needed, let me unplug some of this crap here. All you needed to do was take the end that would normally go into your camera, your Lumix GH4, your Canon, whatever, just plug this guy in, plug this into your iPhone. All you needed to do was take this magical little tiny adapter so here, this one, so black to gray, right? Gray's the TRS, plug this in here, boom, one adapter, this goes into my iPhone, boom, and we're good to go. And that's all you had to do. Sadly, however, that is no longer the case. Sadly now, with this lovely iPhone 7 Plus, I love this phone except for this small problem, it doesn't have a headphone port, there is no way to, to connect this, right? You've seen the videos on the internet, drill a hole, do not, please. Um, David watching live is asking, will it work with Android phones as well or iPhone only? Well, I am uh, not an Android user, but Android users, Android phones, as far as I know, except for maybe one or two models, have not followed Apple on this ridiculous path of getting rid of the headphone port. So on an Android phone, yes, you have the same TRRS input because it's, you know, your standard headphones that come with it. It's a headphone and microphone. So you can use this same Smart Lav Plus. If you look this up on the website, we'll have this, we have this linked below. Um, it says for smartphones. That's what it's, it's the Smart Lav Plus for smartphones because that just works with any smartphone because of that TRRS. And then again, you can use the adapter to hook any other standard microphone up to your smartphone. So Android, yes. So this, the challenge we have today, of course, again, going back is there is no microphone port on here. So we have... I would have managed to leave out of here, but that's okay because it doesn't work anyway. You can, you have, that comes with your iPhone 7, a adapter that is one of these, right? Lightning on one end, and then the other end is a little headphone port. Just pretend this is it. Just, we're faking it here. Pretend that's it. It's a little headphone port. And you think, okay, well, that's all I really need, right? I can take that headphone port, and then now I've got my headphone port that I lost. Okay, so it's one extra adapter, and now all I need is my microphone with the TRR, there, there it is, TRS adapter, right? That's all I need. And in theory, 
Yes. In reality, not always. <laughs> So if you happen to be watching a video last week, right after I got back from Mexico, where I was showing off the um, the uh, uh, Pelican case, and I was doing it here in the studio, not the one from the airport, because that was a complete disaster. Uh, the one from the studio, it sounded like crap. And the reason it sounded like crap was because I had hooked up my fantastic wireless microphone and completely forgotten that I didn't have this adapter on there, which actually turns out wouldn't have mattered anyway, because after I realized that and plugged this in, it still didn't work. So here's what I learned. OK, so backing up, let's make this all make sense. If you've got a regular microphone for your camera, a little boom mic, you've got a lav mic, not a smart lav, not with a TRS, just regular old mic. With that mic, you should, should be able to simply connect that to this adapter, so regular TRS in, TRS out, into the Apple Lightning to headphone adapter that your iPhone 7 or 7 Plus came with and be good to go. Well, the problem was when I connected this guy, it didn't work. And so I put out a thing on Facebook, say, dude, friends, I got some audio friends, audio, like super expert audio friends. And my buddy, Jerry Lusk from like 100 years ago, chimed in and said, yeah, the problem is impedance, not like the male problem, just impedance. Don't you look at me that way. And the problem is that um, I guess there's not enough power or too much power or something coming through these. So the iPhone doesn't realize that you've connected a microphone to it. And so it doesn't turn it on. It doesn't feed the audio routing to the microphone. It instead just uses the internal mic. So I had all this crazy crap hooked up to it, but it was just using the internal mic. That's why last week's video was so bad. So we talked about it and he just said, well, what you really need is one of these things. So now we're talking about, let's go back to this guy, a tiny little, and these are like a $7 part, uh, USB to audio adapter. And the way you connect this to your iPhone is by using the camera connection kit. So now you've got lightning to USB. Now you might be thinking right now, this is insane. You would be right. So here's what we have to do. And then let me show you these. I got two of these. I bought two of them because they're so cheap and I wanted to make sure they both worked. So here we go. One from a company called Sabrin, one from a company called Aki, whatever. Aki, these are both listed in the in the show notes already. Um, and one thing I brilliantly discovered already, talk about annoying, it's got a pink port and a green port. But it doesn't say on here which is the microphone and which is the headphone port. I'm gonna, I haven't even opened this one yet, so let's see if this one's just as bad because that's just insane. There we go. Let's see. Hopefully, this one has a label on it. If not, then it's time to get out the label maker. And oh, good. This one has a port. Okay, so this one has it. I realize I probably should zoom in the, mic, the camera closer, but I can't do that right now. Um, that one shows on the pink port, microphone on the green port, headphones. So we're going to. Well, we'll test that one later. I know this one works because I already tested it. So here's what you got to do. So I take my camera adapter kit, take this USB thing, plug that in there. Then I take, now I don't, I no longer need the TRS, TRRS thing. So I don't need that. So at least that's good. And now I take my Sennheiser wireless receiver and plug that into there. Does that look like an insane collection of cables? It does to me. And then we plug this guy in to the iPhone. And now hey, let's clear out this stuff. Here is my wireless kit, which I mean, I don't know, maybe maybe I'm being a little over excitable about it, but this just seems stupid to me. It really does. The one advantage of going this route as opposed to just the standard um, lightning to headphone adapter is that now I do have a spare power port. So I could take one of my, you know, if I'm shooting indoors, I'm shooting indoors, I can plug that in there and power my phone while I'm doing this. If I'm shooting outdoors, I can plug that into a battery pack and then I've got a, a little extra power on the go. So that's certainly a good thing to have. Um, but just in general, this is crazy annoying. So now I'm going to show you that it works and I'm going to show you how to know that it works. Before I do that, I want to answer the question, why freaking bother? You know, at some point you're going, really? Seriously? I mean, it's I get that the iPhone's convenient. Yeah, it's 4K, whatever. It's it's a cool camera. It does a nice job. But really, is it really worth all this? I'll tell you why it's worth it. It's worth it for doing live broadcasting. So if you're going to do live to Facebook or live to YouTube and you want to use this, if you're out in the field, this is an insanely awesome kit to go 
to go live, right? You don't have to have a big streaming device. Um, you know, I've got all this extra hardware that I can take on the road. In fact, I took to Mexico, didn't use it once. I did all my streaming just from here because it was so convenient. Of course, half the time that I had bad sound is because I was trying to use uh, the wrong microphone configuration because I apparently left part of my brain here. It could have been the mezcal, I'm not saying. Anyway, so um, this should work. So now, how do we know that this is working? Well, unfortunately, I can't hook my camera, my feed, to here to this at the same time as this. So I can't show you very clearly, but if I can actually wake my iPhone back up. Excellent, there we go. Um, you can obviously just test it by plucking, hooking all this up, going into video, recording a video, testing the mic and making sure it works. But the problem that I've had with that is not with this setups, but with other setups, I've had it where I plug in the mic and it works, unplug it, plug it back in and it doesn't work. And so to test it, you have to unplug it because you need to be able to hear the sound which means you've just broken the connection that you now know that you knew worked, but now may not. So it's better if you have an app that shows you audio level meters, and that's the key to this. So we want to have an app that shows us the audio levels so we can tell if we're getting audio from here or from here. And that's what I'm going to kind of try and show you now. So the app that I'm using is called Filmic Pro. In fact, here, let's just do Let me do this real quick. Let me hook this guy up just so you can see the app. I'm going to wait for this thing to refresh to the um, to the switcher. Show up on the switcher. There we go. OK, so iOS only. Uh, you see it on the bottom row in the middle. It's called Filmic Pro. That's the app. We open this guy up. I don't know what it, kind of weird message it's going to give me now. OK, good. So we, you can see the audio level, level meters at the bottom. Test, test, test. You can see that. And obviously, it's using the iPhone. There you tap on that. You can kind of see it. Anyway, it's obviously using the iPhone because that's the only mic that's hooked up, the, the iPhone built-in microphone. OK, so that meter there, that's the golden ticket. That is what is going to allow me to see whether um, whether I am using the internal mic or the external mic. So let's see here if I can do this. Maybe I can set this up like so. Put this camera on here. Let's see if we can. Yeah, that'll work. That kind of sort of works. OK. Cool. All right. So now we're using the internal mics. Now I know already that you have to launch this app with this microphone configuration plugged in, or else it will not um, it will not register. It will not work. It'll actually tell you that. It'll say, "Hey, you got to reboot to see the external mic." Okay. So there, that is on. Here's my my transmitter. Let's turn this guy on as well. Okay, and you can see. Let's make sure all this is working. You can. Yep. There. You can see the audio level meters on the Sennheiser pack. The receiver pack, that's this guy, that's the receiver. It is bouncing, so we got that good. All right, now we're going to plug this into here. Okay. So it's not hitting lock would be a good thing. There we go. Launch that guy. It's hard to do upside down. OK, make sure you can see that screen reasonably well. Wait for that thing to come in. It says, cl wait, whoops, close to capture multi-channel audio. Oh, you need to close it and reconnect it. OK, I don't know why I just did that, but it's telling me to do it again. Close it, reconnect it. Maybe it's just like it saw the mic and then it needs a reboot to really see it. OK, so here we go. Now you can see the audio levels there. You can see them. Let's, let's make that really put that. There you go. Bounce, bounce. And there we go. I'm blowing on the mic. That's the trick. See here, watch, prove it. There you go. So now we know that this is working. Bit of a pain in the rear, but it works. Uh, Graham is asking, just a thought, can you go Bluetooth? Yes. However, you know, you could get like a Bluetooth headset. Um, there might be a Bluetooth mic, like a lav type mic out there. That's actually a really good question. I've never even looked. There might be a good Bluetooth lav type mic out there that would connect to this. You certainly could use a headset there. The headset quality is they'll sound like a phone call. Um, you know, you keep it, keep this in mind. That little mic, that headset, a really good one cost you maybe a hundred bucks. The Apple Bluetooth ones, because they're super fancy or whatever, 200 something. Uh, but it sounds like a phone call. This is broadcast audio quality. This is a $700 microphone pack, um, which I will also say, and I said earlier, if you're going to buy a wireless pack, buy a good one. Don't try and cheap out. I've tried to cheap out. It never works. It's just it's just not worth it. You either get really crappy microphone or you get a really crappy um, connection that's dropping out, popping, all kinds of weird things. It's not worth it. Just if you need wireless, 
you got to spend the money. Sorry, there's just no cheap way around it. And you know what? At 700, this is cheap. These things get really expensive. Uh, the letter set packs that we use when I do lynda.com training are like over a grand or two grand, I think, for a pair. Man, those things add up quick. So anyway, that's that's today's photo moment. If you want to go wireless, you need you need this. You can't just connect it directly with the, the lightning adapter. It's not gonna work. It doesn't work. I've tried it. Maybe other wireless packs will, but this one does not. So your Sennheiser wireless pack, this is the EW100G3. This is of course listed in the show notes. You need this little USB audio adapter also listed in the show notes. You need this camera uh, adapter kit because it's got the USB and then the power. And again, the power thing is nice to have. So if you're gonna be doing a long format thing out in the field, you wanna have the extra power in there. All right, that, is that. Thanks for the awesome live questions. Love seeing the live stuff coming through. At that point, we are going to kill it and say it's time to get out of here. I got to go get my car towed. <laughs> See you later, guys. Bye-bye.